Wonderful day here. As the day progresses, let the acquisition of knowledge as well progress. So in a nutshell, we are continuing a series of video on qualitative analysis. Watch, and as you watch, invite your friends to watch. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, press the subscription button. Press the bell also. If you have any question, drop it at the comment side. I will always be glad to attend to all your questions. Let us move on. Now, in our last series, we discussed that on that test, we can use any letter. You can decide to use letter A, you can use letter Z, you can use letter K, you can use any letter to represent it. But what is this letter representing? It's representing a compound that has been dissolved. It's representing some elements inside a compound, and those are the things we want to test today. So if I just give you a sample and say, test for me what element, what are the elements in this sample? And I say, the, the elements are chemical elements. So you could do some of these tests. P plus sodium hydroxide in drops. You have dirty white precipitate. As soon as you hear the word or you see dirty white, you are talking about calcium ion. Now when you add it in excess, it's insoluble. If it is insoluble, it is calcium. Now, W plus sodium hydroxide in drop. If you have pale blue precipitate, just let your mind be going to copper, Cu2 plus. Now, in excess, precipitate is insoluble. We are still talking about copper. See the full page. If you use sodium hydroxide, in drops with a compound, with a sample. Now, if you have dark green, it is ion 2. Dark green precipitate. Now, if you now put it in nicest, and the precipitate turns brown, it is ion 2 that has changed or has oxidized to ion 3. Now, Take another example, B now is the element we are using, is the compound we are using to represent B. If you add sodium hydroxide plus any sample given to you and you have a reddish brown precipitate which is insoluble in essence, if it is reddish brown, we are talking about ion 3. C plus sodium hydroxide and drop an in excess. If it is brown or black precipitate, insoluble in excess, we are talking about silver. If you take a, a sample D plus sodium hydroxide and you heat it, and there is no precipitate or no feasible reaction, if it is choking and irritating, the smell is choking or irritating, it turns red litmus blue films with a cup of concentrated ACL you are talking about ammonia straight away now look at the characteristics a sample plus sodium hydroxide in drop no feasible reaction but when you apply heat there is no precipitate there is no feasible reaction but when you apply heat you begin to perceive choking or irritating smell and you now test it with litmus paper, it turns red litmus blue. And you now bring concentrated, the cup of concentrated hydrochloric acid and it's now forming a dense white film. You should know you are talking about ammonia. So please learn this. Learn it again. I'm talking to you. Learn it again. One more time. Learn this again. And subscribe if you have not done that. I'll give you in the next video.